Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanelli, your affiliate hero, and in today's video, what we're gonna be going over is the controversial question, should you quit your day job in order to make internet marketing work, affiliate marketing, you know, being an online business, having an online business, you know, being an entrepreneur, whatever it's going to be. So before we dive into that answer, hello, my name is James Canzanelli, I am a full-time affiliate marketer, and if you like videos related to affiliate marketing, uh, online marketing, online business, building an online business, social media, uh, and all that other fun stuff, feel free to subscribe as I'll be putting out many more videos in the future. So how can I actually be you know, giving you this advice? Because I've actually been in a very similar position, so I have a lot of experience when it comes to this. However, I feel like my decision was so much easier to make. So if you flash back to around, I wanna say, might have been around 2012 when I had my last job. It was as a personal trainer. I remember this specific day. I was actually on the chipping green, chipping green, putting green. I was chipping on the putting green with my dad. We came back. This is when I lived in Connecticut. Uh, and I got a phone call. It was from work. And pretty much it was Heather, the manager from work, saying, uh, I'll never forget the lines, is that your position is no longer available. I'm like, hmm. That's interesting, and uh, I was like, oh really, and what's the reason for that? And the reason why I was asking that, because I knew they were lying, they were doing a whole remodeling of uh, like the personal training stuff, and really they wanted to keep us around just so we could uh, train the rest of the clients so there wouldn't be any lawsuits. They promised, they promised my position would still be there along with others. So I decided to ask a reason why, because I know they would have had to lie. So their response to me asking that was, your position is no longer available once again. I had had enough of that. I don't remember what else I said. It probably wasn't something nice. Should have been a few middle fingers in there, but unfortunately, you can't see middle fingers through the phone, but you can usually sense it though, right? So hung up, that was done. And there I was in this spot. I was in a pickle, okay? So that was pretty much like quitting my job, except I was making bank with unemployment. And when I say bank, it was like $50 a month. It was... I mean, I can't even buy a damn pizza for that price. Actually, yes, I can. Pizzas are much cheaper than $50. But the fact of the matter is um, I was kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I knew I never wanted to go back to a job. I was already kind of getting that entrepreneurial bug. I was, you know, doing stuff. I was watching videos. I realized that that kind of life was going to be for me and there was no looking back. So I actually did make that decision. At first, I tried to do my own personal training business where I would go to clients' house. I failed spectacularly. Uh, and that's when I kind of stumbled upon a coach who, who said that one phrase to me. He's like, you need to make money while you sleep. Because the problem for me as a personal trainer was that, yeah, you can make good money. You can make decent money. But there's only so many hours and there's only one of you, James, as you would say. And pretty much in order to actually scale that up, you'd have to work all day or like hire people to do it. So that's where we was kind of getting behind that aspect of if you really want to see, you know, wealth, make wealth, make true success, whatever you want to call it, you got to make money while you sleep. So I really thought about that. That was a really big line. It meant a lot to me. And that's kind of what got me going into internet marketing. And obviously many years later, here I am today, I am doing this full time. I don't have some like random job where I'm stocking soup cans at, you know, some... <laughs> I don't know, a grocery store or whatever. I used to work at a grocery store when I was young in high school, but that's beside the point. So that's kind of my story, how I got into it. I could have definitely gotten another job. I didn't want to. Maybe I was a stubborn fool, but you know what? It worked out to the best of my ability for me because I knew as long as I put in the work, I didn't make excuses. I didn't bitch. I didn't moan. I didn't do I complain on social media. I just put my head down. I pretty much do what I still do now. I just get to work and get shit done. So that being said, that's my experience where I can actually be giving you this because I've been in that position. But for 90% of people out there, I do not think they should actually quit their job, okay? The 10% of people who I do think they should is like where they're making significant amounts of money where if they had their job and this is like their online business or affiliate marketing, like this is their job income, this is like the, you know, income from their online business and it's like up here it's much better than the other one because remember when you have a business you have taxes you got stuff you got to invest in you know cpa whatever it's going to be a lot of other stuff so just because you say you're making like seven thousand here with your online business and like six thousand with a job there's going to be like taxes and a lot of other stuff you got to factor in that you're not going to expect so just because you're making more with one doesn't mean you're going to overall end up with more in your pocket so to speak but the reason why I say 90% of people shouldn't is because there's a lot of things you're going to need to have. First of all, is going to be a, a massive failure rate. And what I mean by that is the ability to take a ton of action, fail a ton, figure out what works, what doesn't, adjust yourself, and then continue from there. This is one thing that just boggles my mind with people who just don't want to get started with anything. Uh, they'll need to know every single little detail. It's the most annoying thing in the world. How you get better at something is you do it a million times. Like you can take someone who reads, learns, watch videos all day, nonstop. 
You can take someone who watches like one video, one training, one tutorial, and just takes massive action, and I'll take that person 100 times out of 100 times. I don't care how much this person knows, I care about how much this person does, because in the process, they're gonna learn so much. They're gonna learn what works, what not to do, what to, what, what to do, what's the best keyword, what's the best offer, what's this, what's that, how to tweak this, how to do the headline. They just know so much more from doing that this person thinks they're winning in life because they know a lot of stuff, but they got an empty bank account. Like, that's a bad position you wanna be in. And in order to get out of that, you just gotta keep taking constant action. That's what people don't realize is like, okay, I'm just gonna quit my job, now where do I start? They have no idea what to do, and they're like really scared of taking action, so it's like really gonna, it's gonna go downhill, you know what I mean? So that's one reason why I think a lot of people shouldn't quit. Next is because they could have a lot to lose. For example, uh, I was single, I was like fresh out of school, you know, I didn't have uh, a big, you know, what was the worst that could happen? Like I would have to get a job. Yes, it would be horrible, but I guess I would swallow my pride and do it. That never happened, which is awesome. But for a lot of people, like if you have kids, if you have a mortgage, if you have a house, if you got a car, if you gotta make payment on stuff, if you have backs to clothe, if you got mouths to feed, losing a job could be a drastic, drastic situation or scenario because now you don't have that income coming in. And what happens is a lot of times with business, if you need to invest in it, you're gonna be extremely scared to do that because you're gonna be like, oh, I need this money so I can't invest in my business. So you're gonna be starting with this scarcity mindset like, oh no, I don't wanna invest my money, I need it. So you're gonna be going against people who are like, yeah, I don't care about money when it comes to investing in my business. I'll do it all day and all long. Try competing with someone like that, okay? Plus, I mean, if you do have like a family, kids, friends, um, a lot of time your life is going to change, especially if you're starting to look to begin a, into a business. Your social life is gonna change. If you expect to be like the, the king of swing, or uh, I need a better reference than that. If you expect, the king of swing, yes. If you expect to build an online business while being the king of swing, you might wanna get into porn or something. That is a bad reference, all right? If you expect to be like Ferris Bueller where everyone loves you, you got this amazing social life, it's possible, but it's not recommended. Like you need to literally focus 100% on your online business. If that's the only thing you wanna do and you wanna quit a job where you're gonna lose income coming in, not a lot of people are willing to do that. It's a word called sacrifice, which a lot of people hate, but you know what? It needs to be done. All the people who are seeing success have done it, continuously do it, and are constantly refining their ability of what they can sacrifice in order to get more out of their online business efforts. That's just the way it works, and a lot of people don't want to do that. Aside from that, like I talked about, you got to think of what you can possibly lose. For me, it was an easier decision. Like I said, I can just go back and get a job, uh, but... But I didn't have like this mortgage, you know, I didn't have all these payments. I wasn't dumb with my money where I just started buying shit I didn't need, where I'm going to need to pay off all that. In fact, it was pretty difficult when I first started specifically. I didn't even have health insurance, okay? Think about that. All the times I went out to go play a sport, like if I got hurt in the back of my mind, I could be screwed. Going for a run, I can't tell you how many times I almost got hit by a car. If that had happened without health insurance... Like I started off, like I said, I was literally on unemployment. I invested my last, almost my last money in coaching. Like I said, it worked out well, but it was very risky at the time because of the fact I didn't have a kid, I didn't even have a girlfriend at the time, I didn't have a mortgage and all that other fun stuff. It made it easier for me to take that risk. It was a calculated risk. So once again, when it comes to risk, you gotta kind of look at yourself and say, would this risk be worth it? If it's not, continue on with the job. Use that money when it comes to your job. Pay your bills, do what you gotta do. Uh, and then the rest of that money can actually invest into the business because if you lose it, it's not gonna be a big deal. You already have all your other stuff paid for, okay? So that's kind of my thoughts when it comes to should you quit your job? The people that should are they're like, dude, I am kicking ass with my business and it's not like just for one month. <laughs> Don't think that you have like one good month that like you should just start quitting your job. I remember that happened to me the first time I hit $10,000, like which was my best month at the time. Um, it was followed by my worst month. It was like one or $2,000 because like I said, there's things you have to learn once you start increasing your income too. Like a lot of times you think that you're doing well, that you can take your foot off the gas. I learned that the hard way and that's why I have that story to share with you. So there's just a lot that goes into it with experience and mindset and actions and failing. And this is, that's why overall don't recommend it to 90% of people. The people who you know should be quitting their day job are probably already crushing it. Like I know a few people, uh, I think it's Chris Fong, who's the one who has like the ClickFunnels review and I think it's Smart Business. I forgot his website, but I know he has a job on the side that he loves, uh, but I imagine he probably wouldn't even need that job if he wanted to. Shout out to Chris if he's watching this or if you know who he is, real cool dude. Uh, but he does SEO affiliate marketing like me and I know he does very well, but that's kind of one of the people in the top 10%. Usually if you know you're doing really well, but a lot of times, maybe if you don't want to quit your job, you don't have to. 
I'll leave that up to you, but I hope you gave some insights. It's one of those things where you need to take a step back, check out the risks, like what it's going to be, if it works, if it doesn't work, and so on and so forth. Figure that out, but if your job sucks and you hate it, use that to your advantage. Use that to your advantage to get up earlier, to do more work, to do work before you go to work, to do work before after you go to work. Heck, I was so pissed off at that whole thing, how like the company lied to me. My pretty much, I guess you could say energy, my focus and like my strive, like I was so pissed off. I'm like, I am never working for someone ever again. Like that was the drive behind me. And I understand a lot of people have that too. You just gotta make sure that you're taking a calculated risk so it all works out for you in the long term because that's all that matters, okay? So I am James Kensman. I wanna say thank you for watching. That's about it. If you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe. If you have a comment, a question, or concern, feel free to leave a comment down below. That's about it. James Kensman, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.